In this video, we are going to create the gradient text effect seen on the iPad product page on the left here, and we'll take it one step further by adding some animation to this gradient as well. For this video, we will start with a stripped down version of the product page, which I pulled together here, and we are going to focus on adding the animating gradient text effect to this supercharged by text here at the very top. So let's start by adding just a static gradient to this text and we'll be using CSS styles and Tailwind for this. So on the right here, I'm gonna find the P tag corresponding to the text, and we're gonna add some styles to this element. So the first thing that we're gonna do is add a background gradient to this paragraph tag. So for this, I'm gonna first say BG gradient to the right, and now I'll specify some colors. So using Tailwind classes, I'll say from purple 500, via pink 500 to yellow 500. So this is just Tailwind's way of saying, okay, we want a background here that's a gradient that will go from left to right. On the left, we'll start from this purple color. On the end, we'll get to this yellow color. And in the middle, we'll be at this pink 500 and then we'll generate the gradient. So hit save here. We'll see that the background shows up as we expect uh, with this gradient going from purple to yellow, left to right. But now we want to clip this to the actual text itself. So for this, we'll add BG clip text, which will apply the background clip text CSS property. Now if I hit save, you notice that the background actually disappears and it's still white text. And this is because we are still explicitly telling that the text should be white, which is overriding this gradient. And so we will finally just change this text white to a text transparent instead. And now the gradient comes through. Now the static version is what Apple has done on their iPad page. And this is already a pretty great effect, but let's go one step further and add a subtle animation to this gradient to introduce a little bit of movement to this page. Now, because there's going to be quite a bit more CSS involved here, that's just a little bit annoying to do with Tailwind, to be frank. We are going to move some of this gradient styling over to proper CSS and go from there. So let's go into the global styles file. And in here, I'm just going to first start by recreating this gradient effect just using CSS. So I'm going to create a class gradient text. And here I'm going to say the background will be a linear gradient to right. And let me grab the tailwind colors real quick. Okay, so here are the three colors, the purple, the pink, and the yellow pulled from the tailwind website. So that'll be the background. Let's also apply background clip to text here as well. Now that we have that, let's go back to this P tag. Let's add gradient text as a class. And let's just go ahead and remove all of this code that we added. Now hit save. We still have the same effect. So everything's the same here. And now let's create this animating gradient effect. So what we're going to go for here is we're going to have the gradient move and shift from left to right. And so we'll see as time goes on, this yellow should start moving towards the left, but we want to have this nice infinite effect for the gradient. So it goes from purple to yellow, and then as it animates, it'll go from yellow to purple, and it'll keep moving to the left and go back to purple and yellow and start again and repeat infinitely. To achieve this effect, because we can't define an infinite gradient here, we are going to use a little trick by repeating this gradient pattern a couple more times and then have that repeated effect move from left to right and then have it reset essentially when the end of the gradient repeat matches the start and then it will reset and it'll go again and again and again. So let's start by first creating this repeating gradient. So we'll go back to the styles here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this linear gradient to have more colors. So we'll have this go purple to pink to yellow. Then we'll have it go back to pink, back to purple, and then again, pink and yellow. Now, if I hit save, you'll notice that we have now this repeated gradient, purple to yellow, back to purple, back to yellow. And we'll notice that the first third of the gradient is exactly the same as the last third of the gradient, which is what we're going for. So now to get back to just one iteration of the gradient, we need to scale up this background to 300% so that it only has the first third of the gradient show up with text. So for this, we're going to apply a background size 
300% in each direction. And now you can see we're back to what we had before of just purple to yellow. But then we know that the gradient continues beyond the text, yellow back to purple, and then purple back to yellow. Now for the effect, we'll want to shift this position of the background and have it shift towards the left here. And so for this, we are going to define an animation and some keyframes. And for that, we are going to actually go ahead and just configure them in the Tailwind config file itself uh, as an easy place to do this. So here underneath plugins, we can also add a theme property here of the config and we can extend it. I'm going to define a couple of things here. First, I'm going to define some keyframes and I'll call this keyframe set gradient and we'll say at 0% or at the start of the keyframe, we want the background position to be 0%, 50%. And if you haven't used background position before, this is the X position and the Y position, absolutely. So it's saying, okay, start all the way on the left of the background definition and 50% is kind of center it vertically 50%, which in this case doesn't really make much of an impact for us. And then we'll say that at the end of the key frame at 100%, we want the background position to be 100%, 50%. So it should scoot all the way to the right edge of the background. So that's the definition of the keyframe, and this will define the start and end of the animation. And so now let's define the animation here. So down here, we'll send now the animation property, and we'll have an animation, we'll label it gradient, and we'll say, okay, use the gradient keyframe that we just defined. Let's have this last six seconds, have it be a linear animation, and repeat infinitely. So now we've defined this, let's go back and attach this animation to this p-tag. And so for that, we can just go back here and just say animate, and then pass in the name that we gave it, which is gradient, which is already auto-completing for us. And now if I hit save, we can see that this gradient is now animating left to right. And you can see once we get back to purple to yellow, it seems like it just keeps going infinitely, but we know in the background what's going on is it's resetting back its position back to 0%, which is what this infinite does here. So with that, we've created this animated gradient text. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. And on screen now is another video for you to check out next, and I'll see you in the next video.